Good morning, welcome to another weekly vlog. Thank you so much for joining me again this week. It's gonna be a very eventful week. I have, I think, seven events this week. Got a lot of events. And then I also have something really exciting happening at the end of the week that I'm kind of nervous about. Something that I've never done before. Um, so that is really exciting. And very rare that I come to you in a vlog with makeup on. Normally it's like me on my couch with absolutely nothing on my face, but it's not even 9 a.m. yet and I have filmed two videos very exciting i've got a very busy week so i'm just trying to get ahead of it and i filmed my la colors foundation review or the beginning of it anyways i'll do my check-ins later today and then my january favorites so those will be listed down below if you have not seen them yet and um yeah i've got a ton of things to do so i've got a dior event actually in 45 minutes so i should probably get dressed and then i've got a l'oreal event later today and uh yeah so let's do it So here are the items from the Dior event. They spoiled us like crazy. What I really liked about this event was it was quite small, so it was done in sessions. And then they also kind of like took you around all their new launches and then picked out the items that would be suitable for your skin for the foundation. They matched me to the Dior Forever foundation, so I need to try these at home. But I will do a review on these, and these are what I was the most excited about. They have some new serums. So they have a matte maximizer, and I find a lot of high-end brands ignore the fact that people have oily skin. So I'm excited to try this. And then this one is the Glow Booster. Then they have a ton of these new lip addicts, which I'm not super familiar with. So they have these Backstage Pro ones, a bunch of different shades, and they have Matte Glow and Hollow Glow, which sounds interesting eyeshadow palette this is a new moisturizer from them and then this is the holographic sculpting powder got some stuff from nude sticks as well they have a new revolutionary rock and roller eyeliner ink i wanted to try the mac one so i'm curious about these i've got the bronze and the kind of golden one and then some of their luminous eye colors which i've never tried the magnetic luminous i've tried the magnetic matte those are really good if you have oily eyelids and then these are the intense matte lip and cheek pencils if you've never tried nude sticks their stuff is really beautiful and it's a, it's a Canadian brand which I always love to support and their products that are actually really good. Like I don't just hype them up because <laughs> they're Canadian. I ended up Ubering to the event, but I'm gonna walk home. It's just that it's slippery and I have heels on and um, I don't have a super appropriate coat, but it is actually quite beautiful outside. Very nice, like light snow falling. I don't know how I'm feeling about this foundation. I'm gonna film the end of the review when I get back, but it is nice out. I take back what I said. It's cool to look at, not cool to be in. It's like really light snow, but there's oh, so much of it. So I have been up for quite some time now. It's what, 8 or 9 a.m. And I'm just finishing editing my um, LA Colors Foundation Review, which is live. That will be linked down below, but I mentioned this in my Q&A video, but one of my favorite things about working from home is because I wake up so early, I enjoy being able to get up and do my work immediately. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for this morning. I'm going to um, film in a little bit as well, and then I've got an event with Bioderma this evening. So I'm just taking some blog photos and I thought I would show you my setup because it's so bare minimum. It's literally my deep freeze with a blanket on top of it. And yes, uh, I don't take the best blog photos in the world by any means, but I'm just kind of showing you this because it's important to know you don't need like crazy equipment and everything. Like it's just, if you're just taking photos, find a good sunny spot, put a blanket down or like a fake marble countertop, get one of those like stickery overlay things. <laughs> I had that on a foam board for a little while. And just work with what you've got and then eventually you'll be able to, to build up and figure out what works for you. And I'm still always trying to find the best way to take photos. I haven't exactly mastered it yet, 
blogging isn't my main format. I'm more concerned with video, but I do like having a blog for swatches and stuff. So now I'm just watching the new ColourPop concealers that I finally got in. It was a bit of a journey getting these to my house, but I'm going to do like a swatch comparison post because I couldn't find like any when I was trying to buy this concealer. I could not figure out what shade for me. So hopefully it will help somebody else. Okay, I have my face on, feeling slightly better. I have the Fenty Beauty Highlighter on, MAC, um, waterproof foundation, if you were wondering, and I don't have a lip on yet because I don't know what I'm wearing. I'm gonna get dressed now. LJ is on her way over. I don't think she's ever been on my channel before, um, but I've talked about her a ton. She was the person who helped me with my mystery foundation reviews, which I will be doing again. Um, but we're gonna get ready and head to the Bioderma event. I don't know what they're launching. I think they might have a new product launch or something, but you'll get to see that anyways. And it's a little bit far from my apartment. Um, I'm so bad, like, where I don't drive anymore, anything that's any distance from my apartment I'm like what I'm like this is why I moved downtown is so I don't have to like travel to get to things and by travel I mean it's gonna take us a half hour um, on transit to get there but I'm just rude like that anyways um, she's on her way soon so I should probably get dressed so LJ's here and she brought me a gift it's dense I feel like it's gonna be something that's gonna make me look denser if I had to guess like thick <laughs> Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I've never tried these candles before. These are like those bougie ones. Yeah, bougie. That bloggers It literally use. says bougie on it. <laughs> does it? Oh my god, hilarious. It does. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Thank you. And it's going to be perfect over here. Ooh. Yeah, I was like checking out your decor card last time. <laughs> I was like, that's going to Next to Rue. Oh, yes. Cute. Oh. Focus on that face. Can you believe it? LJ and I are both wearing the same lipstick. I have a little lip liner on, but both wearing, uh, what is it called? Petal? Petal. Pa pe pastel no. Petal? Yeah. It's from Pixie. It's one of their new uh, liquid lipsticks. But pastel Petal. Maybe we should start doing lip swatch videos side by side. Yeah, I like that idea. My friend Ashley and I used to do it. Hi, Ashley. And it's crazy how different it looks. Like, it looks so much more burgundy on you. Super burgundy. Who's on my back? Rue. Oh. Good. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> She wants some attention. She ignoring you. Oh, yes. Oh, give her the chin. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Good morning, guys. I am just getting ready to head to the gym. A little bit of a later start to the day. It's almost 10 o'clock. I've been awake since 5.30, but I've just been doing some blog posts and then I was gonna film. I don't know if you can hear it in the background though, but there has been some super lar la large, loud buzzing sound in my building for the past two hours straight. So I can't do any of that. So I've just been working on blog posts and stuff. And um, now I'm gonna go to the gym. A little update since my last vlog, I went um, twice that vlog week. And then on that Saturday or Sunday, and then I didn't go at all last week. I went Sunday night of this week and now I'm going, what is today? Wednesday. So I definitely wanna make it two or three times a week. Again, I'm just trying to form a habit of me actually going and like getting over my gym anxiety. I'm not trying to like pump major iron or anything. I'm just trying to literally get there. So I have another half of the episode of Dynasty left to watch. So I watched half of it on Sunday night. So I'm gonna do watch the other half of it today. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Then I got a little bit of PR in last night, so I'll show you that when I get back as well, and hopefully that buzzing will stop so I can film. Do you hear that? It's like, it's not like somebody is drilling or I have no idea what it is. It's just like so loud. And my apartment is not big. It's like 600 square feet. So it's not like I can just avoid, avoid the sound. I'm so confused and annoyed but it's a good excuse to get out of my apartment. I'm just home from the gym, I did it. I'm always so glad when I do it. Um, I'm a little bit scared to actually start doing real workouts, but um, I'm just glad I went. If you don't watch the show Dynasty, it's quite good. It's not like, you know, none of the television I watch is quite riveting or educational or anything like that. I just watch for entertainment, but it is a good show. I'm just opening my windows here. I realized I didn't have them open. It's snowing a ton today, um, but the superintendent is on his way up to check out my unit because I couldn't hear anything in the hallway when I went out. So I'm hoping there's nothing wrong because I, I, I can't film, like I can't do work. I just got home and Bubba's is... Hi! Are you okay? 
you all riled up because mom's home. Hi, sweet baby. So anyways, he's on his way up because I literally can't work right now because the sound is so loud. I can't do any filming. Um, and it's just annoying anyways to have to hear this. It's been going on for three hours now and it's snowing a ton. So and I don't really like going to like work in coffee shops or anything. <clears throat> so um, yeah, hopefully he can sort this sooner than later. What are you saying? He's so loud. Oh, and my friend bought me an Echo Dot. If you guys have one, um, let me know how you like it, how you like to use it. I'm curious. Hi, Bobas. Did you miss me? I was only gone for 30 minutes. But I missed you. You're so cute. So let me show you what I got um, last night. I got this aloe plant from Clinique, which is, I wash brushes. That's why there's so many brushes here. Um, and I used to love aloe when I was a kid. I would always like crack it off and um, rub it on my skin. And then they also sent this BKR water bottle, which is glass, but it has this kind of cover on it. So let me know when you wash this, do you like hand wash it? Do you take the silicone off? That seems like it'd be a hassle to get back on, but I just used it just then at the gym and I liked it. And it was all to go with this Moisture Surge moisturizer, which I've used this before and really like it. It's quite lightweight. And then I got this and I was like, there was no from on it. I was so confused. I was like, it has a Sphinx cat on it. And if you watch my Q and A, you know that I love Sphinx cats. And I was like, it's someone that knows me. Anyways, it was my aunt who sent it to me. Cause I was like, I'm so confused. Like packages don't just show up with like no name on them. So that was really funny. Then from Makeup Forever, I got some of their Artist Color Shadows. These are the three shades that I picked out. They don't go together at all, but I was really curious about all of them. They all look really, really beautiful. And from Sephora, these are their Lip Story lipsticks. And these cost, I think, $11 Canadian or $12, $8 American, so a really good deal. And the packaging on every single one of them is different. It's kind of like a cardboard packaging. I haven't actually even opened them yet. Can I? Oh, here we go. Doing it, wait no. Stay tuned. So the inside is actually plastic. They don't feel like incredibly luxe by any means, but I've heard great things about the formula. This one is a cream and it's in the shade, oh, the shade is on the side here. It's in the shade Hot in Havana. And then on the packaging is actually Havana, which is pretty cute. Oh my God, I'm mortified. I just feel like the epitome of a girl who doesn't know anything about her apartment. The superintendent just came and he was like, what's inside of this closet? Like the closet where I was making noise. And I was like, oh, just clothing. He's like, what's on top of it? Go oh, like we just store like tissue paper and, and toilet paper and extra plastic wrap and stuff. And then he was like, I think it's something up there. And I was like, oh my God, you mean like it's something that I own? It was the board game operation. Did you use that board game before? Something moved up there that must have been pressing it and it has been beeping super loud or like whatevering for three hours a board game and i just got the superintendent of my building up here <sighs> i hate my life i almost wish there had been something wrong with my apartment that i had to pay 500 dollars to fix instead of <laughs> a fucking board game i hate my life i hate it why am i like this I mean, I guess it's good. I'm just so embarrassed right now. <sighs> okay, face is on, on my way out of the house. I am heading to a Nude by Nature event, which is a new brand at Shoppers Drug Mart, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've seen Chloe Morello mention it in her videos. Uh, so excited for that. And then I'm going to an Olay event. So yeah, it's gonna be kind of a busy night. I just took a little cheeky nap, which is very exciting. I normally don't nap during the day, but my boyfriend came home early. And he was like, I'm taking a nap. So I was like, me too. So yeah, headed out now, going to like kind of the east end of town, which I normally don't go to. So uh, that should be fun. It's like a cool new hotel.
watching my bus drive away. I just missed it by like 30 seconds. It's so funny going to like those super fancy events, like beautiful building, beautiful view of the city. So snazzy. And then I'm like here running to catch the bus, like the juxtaposition of like my actual life versus <laughs> events and stuff. But it was a really good event. But now I'm all alone in the dark. So I'm just gonna wait for this uh, bus to come and take me home. It's a late night for me. But um, both the events are really good. I'm really excited about the new by nature stuff. And then I'm excited about the Olay whips. It feels really good. It feels like it's gonna be good for oily skin. And there's actually um, SPF in there, which is um, good because a lot of my favorite moisturizers don't have SPF. So I'm curious to give that a try. Wow, okay, I was just talking for like a minute and a half and I wasn't filming anything. Let me repeat myself. Just got back from the gym. Um, as I've mentioned, I'm trying not to be too repetitive, but it's really hard to remember week to week what I've said. But I'm just trying to form the habit, get over my fears and like anxiety about going to the gym. So I'm just going, getting on the bike for 20 minutes. I was watching Riverdale. It's so bad. It's so bad. And I'm still watching it. I'm like in it now. But this is what happened with me and Pretty Little Liars. I started watching it. And I was like, okay, this is pretty good. You know, it's a little bit silly, but whatever. But then it just got to a point where I was like, this is ridiculous. And it's the same thing with Riverdale. I don't know if it's because they're like pretending to be teens and the scenarios are just so unrealistic. And it's just so dramatic and kind of weird and like Betty and just, I don't know. I, I continue to watch it anyways. Um, but I'm really glad that I went to the gym. I'm not trying to overdo it or anything, just trying to like literally form the habit. So I'm gonna have breakfast now and take some photos. I'll show you some of the stuff that I got last night at the events as well. Now this, my friends, I can tell you is not a board game. They're doing some fire alarm testing in my building. They do it like once a month. It's so annoying, but at least this I know is not something that I need to call the superintendent about and make myself look dumb. Taking some photos of this new NARS palette. It launched today, which is February 1st, I think. Is today February 1st? I don't know. Anyways, but it is um, available at sephora.ca and then also on the Sephora website as of now as well when this vlog will go up. So this is like another kind of big reason that um, making my move to full time is so important because things pop up like this. So like this arrived last night. I don't use lights to take photos for my blog post like I could obviously but I wasn't able to take photos last night and then of course if I had woken up I either would have had to take blog photos before I went to work or try and rush home before it gets dark in the winter to take photos so it's really nice to be able to have the freedom that when things pop up because like this is going to get a lot of traffic and I haven't seen a lot of people talking about it so I'm like okay let me take these photos this morning get my post up as soon as possible and the post will be listed down below if you're curious to see swatches but it's all kind of like an iridescent palette. I feel like you could use them on the face too. I haven't touched it yet, but um, and I just happen to have this Sephora bag, which is perfect because it's a Sephora exclusive. Anyways, um, yeah, so let me swatch this. Just came in here and found Rue living her absolute best life. You got the paw outstretched and everything. Are you napping? Are you napping? Good morning guys, I am coming to you with a full face of makeup and nothing on my eyes, no mascara and no lipstick. I'm actually getting ready to head to the Benefit offices. I'm doing a Facebook Live with Maddox from Benefit and I'm so excited. I've never done Facebook Live before. Oh, gotta sort out this hair. Um, I've never done Facebook Live before, not for myself or anybody else, so it's a little bit scary that the first time I'm doing one is with Benefit, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's for their new mascara, and I assume they probably pro probably will keep it on their Facebook page, so I will link to it down below, but I'm really nervous. I don't get, like, I don't get nervous about filming videos, going to events, or anything like that, but this I'm nervous about because it's, like, an audience that's not my own. I don't really have control of anything, really, so... I'm a little bit scared, but Maddox is tons of fun, so I think it's gonna be great. I'm just hoping that like something doesn't go horribly wrong and like, I don't know, but it's for their new mascara, so that's why I'm gonna be mascara-less until I try that out, and I've seen good things about it. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm gonna be heading out the door in about an hour, so I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm just, ooh, the more I talk about it, the more nervous I get. But um, I cut yesterday short a little bit. I wasn't feeling great. I didn't really do much besides work. Um, 
and sometimes like I know in my previous two vlogs I had like more clips of me like cleaning up and putting my makeup on and stuff like that but honestly like when you're doing a chore sometimes you just want to wash the dishes you just want to put the laundry away I don't want to have to like worry about setting up a tripod so that I can do it so some vlogs will have more fluff than others but I just want to be like honest with you and sugarcoat not sugarcoat you know my week or anything like that so I just did a whole bunch of work I wasn't feeling great um so yeah, we'll see what happens after the benefit thing. I don't really have a plan. I might film, um, but I do have so many videos pre-filmed right now that I don't need to film and where my skin is just so messed up. Um, I'm just sick of having to like justify to people and sick of people talking about it to me um, that I'm just avoiding filming while I don't have to. So I've got my dermatologist appointment in about two weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, I'm gonna go figure out what I'm gonna wear. Why is it that on the days when you have like something big to do, you can't find like regular, oh my God, here it is. God, yes. Couldn't find me deodorant. Like, it's in the same place every day. I never move it. It's in my bathroom. And now I'm like, okay, gotta get dressed, get out the door. And now I, I just spent like five minutes looking for my deodorant. Like, why did I put my deodorant on outside of the bathroom? I don't understand. I'm getting more and more nervous. Like, I'm spiraling here. <laughs> I know it's gonna be fine, probably. And it's gonna like fly by and it's gonna be good. But, excuse me while I put on my deodorant. But I'm just... Okay, excuse all the mess, but this is what I'm wearing. The, these black pants and this bodysuit, like if I had a uniform, this would be it. A Fashion Nova, Fashion Nova. These are Forever 21. I showed them, oh my God, in a haul a little while ago. And then my blazer is actually from Forever 21 as well, but I think I've had this since university. Um, so I'm gonna wear this because it's kind of like, I don't own much actual pink and Benefit is super pink. So this is about as close as it gets for me as like a beigey blushy pink thing, so. It's cute, and you'll only be able to see me from here up, but yeah, okay, let's go. Oh, and this is my makeup. I'm wearing the Bare Minerals Foundation, the um, Laura Geller Highlight. I've also got the Benefit What's Up, Benefit California. On my lips, I have Wet n Wild, Lay Down the Moves. Lip liner, I have four things on my lips. Kat Von D, Lolita, liquid lipstick, Tartist, Tarte lip paint or whatever, a home slice, and a little bit of the Fenty um, Fenty lip, uh, oh my god, I can't talk, I'm so nervous, <laughs> Fenty gloss bomb, <laughs> okay, let's go, I'm, let's go, let's get out the door, because I'm just, just inside my house spiraling. I made it out alive that was actually so much fun and I knew once I sat down and like started talking and I've met Maddox before that it was going to be fine but it's always nerve-wracking because you don't really know what their expectations are you don't know like if they're gonna have a bunch of rules and regulations and things you can't say and they literally were like don't even look at the mascara we want it to be a first impression like say whatever you want blah 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 so it was really good the team was so sweet and I'm just so appreciative and like so like I thought it was going on like the benefit Canada Facebook page but it went on like the benefit Facebook page and that has like 6 million followers. My mind is blown that that just happened. It was so good. It was so much fun. And I really like the new mascara actually as well. This is the new Bad Gal Lash. So yeah, it was so fun. I feel so happy. I feel so grateful that I got to do that. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Very cool. So I think I'm going to end the vlog on that on that note. Um, I don't know if this has been a weird vlog or not. I've said this before, but it's always hard to tell what a vlog is going to be like because like I can't even remember what happened on Monday of this week until I go to edit it and then I'm like, this was a weird vlog. Nothing happened. But I also like vlogs that are a little more casual and I'm not like going like skydiving because you just kind of like want to get to know people a little bit better. And um, my actual weekly two week weekly vlog number two just went up today. Um, and you guys seem to enjoy the exercise portion of it. So I will keep doing that. And um, cause I'm just trying to get healthy. Like I'm not trying to have like a model's body. Like it's not gonna happen and I don't really need that. But I just wanna be at a healthy weight because I know that I am overweight and that's not healthy. And I want to like live a long, healthy life. So uh, those are kind of, oh, there's Rue. Hi, Boopus. What are you doing? You're so cute. 
I posted a picture of Rue on my Instagram last night and it got like more comments than anything ever. Like I feel like I started an Instagram account for Rue but I never posted on it. Let me know if you think I should. But let me know if you enjoy these vlogs, what you wanna see of them. And not to like complain about dislikes because it doesn't bother me, but I did notice um, more dislikes on my weekly vlog number two than I normally get in the span of time that it's been up. And that doesn't really bother me, it's fine. But I'm curious, is it people disliking it because they don't like a vlog in general and they want a makeup video? You don't like the content of the vlog? So I'm like, all I'm doing is like talking about body struggles and then donating makeup to a shelter. But anyways, I'm like, what, what is there to dislike here? Maybe it's too long. Um, so if you have any things that you'd like to see in vlogs or whatever it may be, like the vlogs are going to keep coming. I'm enjoying them. I'm going to keep doing them. And like, it's not like a major amount of dislikes. It's just more than I would normally get within the first 12 hours of a video being up, which means um, that it's all probably subscribers who are doing that. So just let me know if there's anything you'd like to see different in these. And um, I'm looking forward to keeping them going. I am really enjoying it. And also just for like a personal memory of being able to look back on this <laughs> in like 20 years if YouTube still exists or I'll download them or something. But um, to be able to look back on my life and be like, oh, that's what my life was like, you know, the first week of February in 2018. Anyways, this was fun. Good week, busy week. Excited to not wash my hair for a couple days. Excited to not put on makeup for a couple days because I've been like doing my makeup and hair every single day this week, which is not a normal week for me. But anyways, I'm gonna go. I feel car sick. I just got an Uber back and I'm not used to, to riding in cars anymore since I've moved to Toronto and I get car sick every single time. I'm rambling. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJNYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.